y'all probably been wondering, uh, where have I been at? Uh, well, I've been right here. Actually, I've been at work most of the time, or cutting grass, or like I'm going to be doing later today, working the creek because it's rained, messed the creek up. You got to work it to get your vehicles in and out. Anyway, <laughs> that's beside the point. Point is, today we've got another project for the bus. And the project for the bus is, well, it's starting to kind of sprinkle out here. So let's carry this conversation on inside the garage. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got solar panels. Uh, you can see over here, this is part of my solar array that's going to go on the bus. Now, of course, these are all individual panels, all 100 watt panels. These up here are a little different because I had these already. I'm going to probably go ahead and get another set of these and change these out uh, because between the end of the deck, which is where this is, I've got it all measured, to the front of the bus is going to be right about here. So these are going to be sticking out over the front just a little bit. I'm hoping that the wind doesn't be putting too much pressure on them. Um, you can see the difference. Now, these are old panels. These are actually polycrystalline panels. You can tell when you look at them. See the uh, the fact that they're square like that on the edges of each cell kind of says that it's a polycrystalline panel. These ones are monocrystalline, which are more efficient, and you can see the edges are clipped. So, yeah. As far as wattage goes, these do put out 100 watts a piece. And with the total solar array, I will end up with 600 watts of solar on top of the bus. So, should be plenty. Now, what I'm doing, I'm putting each two panels together in a single cell by taking, uh, go back here, by taking these, which are, make sure they will fall, those are supposed to be a wood bed uh, the pieces that hold a wood bed together when you put a wood a wooden bed in a pickup truck these are what holds the wood down now I was going to put a wooden bed in old green thing is I still haul stuff in old green because you know old green is still a truck so even though I got her all restored, I still haul stuff. In a wooden bed, I'm not going to be hauling stuff. Okay, so let's build the rest of our pieces of our solar array here. Okay, now that we have our panels set up into their own little individual little cells, as you can see, and they are pretty sturdy. Because these are pretty sturdy pieces of metal that are holding them together. 
Okay, now these panels have got to be up against these ones. Something like that. Okay, now these are one complete solar array that should be pretty, pretty solid. It's going to have more cross bracing, of course, but these should hold together pretty well. Okay, so we have part of our solar array right here, and we have the bus. Now, I want to put it up there, see how everything's going to line up, and see what type of mounting system I'm going to have to have. In order to do that, I've got to get these up there. I've never seen how they look up there, so I'm kind of looking forward to that too. But these are a little heavy, and... Uh, that's a pretty long way up there. This could either be uh, really easy and quick, or this could be like, pretty expensive. Either way, it should be entertaining for you all. Okay, so. Y'all gonna sit there and watch dogs, or y'all gonna help? Oh, of course. All right, don't worry, dogs. I'll get it. Y'all just sit there and watch. There we go. That is with 400 watts on there. Okay, there we go. Maybe that's a better angle. Okay, that is what it looks like. If I can hold it halfway still. That's what it looks like with 400 watts of solar panels on it. And actually, I'm kind of thinking 400 watts of solar should be plenty of solar because uh, it's not really that much going on in that bus right now, but I do want 600, uh, which I can put on very easily. Just make this expandable. I've already got a charge controller coming that will handle all six panels. Um, even if it's not these two added to it, I can get two more 100 watt identical to those uh, Renergy panels. And uh, there we go. We've got a solid 600 watts that will actually fit because these, the, the other ones do not fit. And I want them to fit up there securely 
and not have to worry about wind getting caught under them or just the fact that it's going to stick over the cab and I really don't want it to do that. I mean, if it's unavoidable, it may stick over a little. But anyway, okay, let me go over how I'm going to hook the panels up. Okay, so this is the solar panel array that is going on Zephyr. Um, there are going to be two more panels added. I was going to use the other ones, but I think the other ones, I'm going to figure out some way to use them at the cabin. I think 200 watts will be plenty for the cabin, more than what I would ever need. But I think 600 watts is what I need for this, which right now I have 400. So I need two more panels, two more 100 watt panels. Then we will have our 600 watts on top up here and we'll be able to should be able to run everything with no problems there's really not much else to do uh, because I have to wait for my solar charge controller and I also have to buy two more panels and I have to get a mounting system which is going to consist of some angle iron and something to come downwards onto the roof I'm going to have to work all that out, but at least I have my array figured out. I have it here. It's ready to go on the bus whenever I get my solar charge controller. Like I said, I haven't had much time to work on projects lately because I have been working and we usually work a lot and when I get home, I'm tired. So anyway, I'll be ordering two more monocrystalline 100 watt panels and we will be installing them on Zephyr as soon as I can. I appreciate everybody watching, and I will see y'all on the next one.